here, everybody. Uh, say hi. Hi. <laughs> it's hot. That's all I got to say. It is hot. Sweat's pouring off of us. We're in the shade. Got some patchy clouds rolling over. There's a breeze blowing. It's helpful, but it doesn't cure it. But it's hot. We're out here. It's Labor Day Monday. And we're all by ourselves. How is it we're the only ones on this lake? We are by ourselves. On Labor Day, the big holiday. Everybody's home grilling hot dogs and hamburgs and everything <laughs> else. And uh, amateurs, they're not hardcore fishermen like we are. But <laughs> this is us. Uh, there was some kayakers at the ramp. Brand spanking new. They just bought their kayaks and their life jackets on the way here. <laughs> I don't expect we'll see them. No, way down, way down there behind them branches is the ramp. Uh, brand spanking new. Never been on one. Should be interesting. But other than that, we are it. We're the only ones here. Not even bank fishing. Nobody. Just... And you know, we get, we get this once in a while, but it's just... It's been a while. But here we are. So, all these fish in here that are hungry, wanting to eat something, they gotta see us, right here. Us. They come to us to eat, to get their worms. So, we're bound to catch some fish. As soon as it cools off. Uh, Water is 83.5. We're in three and a half feet of water, thereabouts, three to three and a half. And of course, the thermocline down there, I don't know if it'll show up where it starts getting cooler. But anyway, water temp's good and warm. And I said in our last video, you know, we, we're apt to go swimming because it's hot. Even with that breeze, you know, it, it comes and goes. Uh, we're rolling. But anyway, we're back, folks. I don't care what T.J. Evans Park does. Kick us out. You know, even... Well, we'll not get into that. Ain't gonna stop us, because we got better places to go, and we've been kicked out of better places. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. Stay with us, folks. We're gonna catch some fish. Okay, she is rigged up. She's got the ultralight going on. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy cold water. Get some refreshment. Ooh. Cast it out. You know, some of this line, I don't care if you used it the night before. If it dries up a little bit, it'll hang together. So, there we go. That's better. Uh, getting the ultralight going. Um, she's got her other big rod rigged up and ready to go. What do you got, that circle hook or just, just no. regular four? A regular one. Regular, like a regular four hook on there. Okay. We got her squared away there. Had to squeeze her sinker a little tighter. Setting off our usual place here where we have, have a bit of a picnic, squash point. Right up there, maybe you can barely see it through the leaves. That thing has given me a start. That's that old big dead stump. Appears black. You hit that with a spotlight at night when you're looking around here, this point for reference, see where you're at. You hit that. It looks like <clears throat> something standing up there staring back at you. It's good stuff. Our beginning kayakers has made it to right over there. We're up late quite a ways. We're, I don't know, a few hundred yards short of the stump minefield. Happy for them. I really am. I've got nothing against kayakers. They don't bother nobody. They do their thing. There's quite a number on this lake some nights with no lights on them, late at night. Bait fish jumping everywhere. And I do take exception to that. We nearly cut one and a half one night. I'm glad I was doing idle speed. Uh, no lights. He's seen us coming. Yet he's going to cut across in front of us. Just got a hint of a silhouette or something and I killed the engine. And uh, lit him up and there's a kayak cutting across in front of us five ten yards away yeah so nothing against kayakers but i'll catch you out here after dark with no lights i'm going to call the guys in on you okay that's just dangerous and you know you absolutely know that they'd have found a way to sight me 
for such an accident. That's mm. the way it works. If you're in the boat, you're wrong. Yep. That is a stump minefield. You get to that tree and that line of trees across there, it's a stump minefield. We've been up there. We've had to really pick our way through it. Uh, give a little level one trolling motor move a little bit while she's hanging over the front edge looking for stumps pointing them out to go around you know just below the water surface the ones you're going to hang on but anyway this guy said that they're used to bicycling and i told him i said a lot of people don't get further than halfway up this lake on kayaks so they're in pretty good shape and actually they're making pretty decent time they are so good for them like I said, I'll draw the line when you're out here fooling around after dark with no lights. Uh, you know, that, that's a danger to you. That's a danger to everybody. That's just nuts. And, you know, forget the law part of it. That's just absolutely insane. And she's treed. Fish sticks. I don't know where you're at or how you got down in there. I really don't. You're going to have to follow it and... Are you clear? No, you're not. Uh, All right, we are now. All right. Taking pictures of the purple flowers, little stretch break, a little break on the bank. Some sort of purple flower up there. Cairn is in good shape. Our gift is still there. So now we're heading for another cove, site number two, once she's done playing photographer. We're in spot number two. So far, no joy. Uh, trying it out. We're just getting into the good evening time now, too. So, bait fish jumping everywhere. These fish ain't hungry, so it's hard to talk them into biting. What is this? What is these leaves? This won't do. Well, it's cooled off to tolerable out here finally. Running from one shade tree to the other. Shady cove, whatever you want to call it. Got a little bit of a bite out there about where I'm at. She got a little bit of a bite out there about where she's at. Little bait robin bluegill. I've had to rebait. Not big enough to take the hook. Just steal a worm. We're in our night hole, the hole that produces. Got a lot of bright sun there still. I keep hearing stuff. But it must be settling. Well, I have to get me a big slurp of the stomach medicine. No measuring cup, just drink her straight? Drink her straight. All right, I prefer that anyway. We have action. I just had a bite out there. He took it down. I gave him a little bit using the circle hook. Reeled down on him and spit it out. It's a small one, but we got action already just mere minutes. What do you got for supper up there? Peanut butter. Peanut butter. You know, we got lunch meat and stuff. Oh. You don't have to eat that. Oh. Okay. Just wondering what you had as soon as the stomach medicine worked a little while. I'll get a bite to eat. Got it. First hook up. Hit it like a rocket. He's spunky. He's little, but he's spunky. He's got a little, little vinegar to him. <laughs> he ain't one to show yourself, are you? Not bad. He's not tiny like those other ones. Like I said, he's little. He, he just gulped it. Oh. All right, bud, buddy. Let's see. Yeah, right in the corner. Circle hooks. You just lunged. Ah, quit now. I need this to keep your mouth open so I can get it out, fella. Plars. Plars are back there. Well, we finally got a fishing boat. Who? We. We? You. We. You know what I meant. She's not a skunk anymore. Where are we at? 
16. I've had this stuff out waiting a while. Yes, you have. I was confident today. 16. Pound three ounces. 16 and a pound three. Ouch. Why is that left hand too? I should have grabbed him with my right hand. All right. Stop that and let's get a steel picture. Okay, how to get a steel picture? We've got a fish brain account on the fish brain app. I have to put it, update it once in a while. There you go, fella. And I'm back out, you know, she just saw a pound catfish get caught. She pulls out the ultralight with the blue gill hook on it. When he breaks off, I'll, I'll say I seen it right away. Two, five minutes later, another little one. It's coming right at us. He's gone under the boat. He's gone under the boat. I don't know, Chief, he's either a very smart fish or a very dumb one. Yeah, You're gonna need a bigger boat. Oh, you boink your little head. Easy, bud. It ain't that bad. I ain't gonna eat you. <laughs> Just relax here. We're easy. Now look, mister. Alright, I know. <laughs> I know. I just guff it up there. That sunset's making everything look weird. Fifteen inches. It's right there. I don't want to. I don't want to kill you to weigh you, bud. There we go. You know, we're releasing it, and I don't want to do that, I don't want to risk it. He's mad. He's got a lot to say, don't he? <laughs> 15 inch, I'd say. Hmm. Huh. One pound, two ounces. An inch shorter and a, an ounce lighter. All right, let's get the steel picture. Why, 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 why? Come on, talk to. Me. Yeah, back to video here. We're back. You're a pretty one. Why, why, why? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. That's number two in the boat. You ready to go home? Huh? You ready? All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go, bud. Thank you. Oh, he said bye. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Scared my worm plumb up the line. <laughs> Let's see if I can get him back down there and recycle him, rejuvenate him. That's a good worm. It's catching fish. She's up there redoing her tackle. She's going to the big rod and the, cir the circle hook and the crawler. I think she's give up on the ultralight business. Yeah. Two of them showed her something. They come up and winked at her, changed her mind. There she goes, she's catfishing. Got used to that ultralight and didn't get it out there as far as she wanted. Guys remember, guys and gals, ladies and gents, she's got that different reel, so there's a little difference in them too. Still getting used to that replacement reel. By the way, I've emailed Zebco again. Haven't heard anything back. Of course, it's a holiday weekend. They ain't going to be in till. That's better. They ain't going to be in till Tuesday. So we'll see. Oh, she's hooked. Oh, she was on. She she acted too quick for the circle hook. Oh, that one ain't a circle. Okay. Got her in a good spot out there. She's getting some action. It's gone. Nope.
trying to get a little live action as it happens here. Trying. Get him? No. Probably too small. And that he's a bait robber. You know, don't look at that as a bad thing. He's just robbing bait. Pretty much. <laughs> Ah, he got off? He got off. Right there. Mm. And there's the obligatory sunset shot, everybody. Probably looks like just a big ball of light mm. on video, but it's brilliant orange in real life. Got our night equipment. We're going back for the night. And what is a night fishing expedition without going into Squatch Point after dark? Get squatch in here a little bit. Gotta check it out. Gotta get my land legs under me here. Been in that boat too long. <laughs> Seeing your eyes shine, nothing yet, means it's safe to go on. Go till you see your eyes shine. Ooh, panting like an old man. We're on the game trail here. Oh, we just tripped. It's dark. Hear that? Hope, hope the camera got it. We'll walk up here to the tree break. And hope my camera light don't go dead. Here it is, the original tree break. That's really pretty neat. Hmm, that's pretty, that is, that's kind of neat. Anyway, I don't see no eye showing. Of any game. I don't see the resident spider of this. Let's turn the light off a minute. But here we are. Squatch point. The original tree break we discovered three, four years ago? I don't even know now. Hoping to flush up a little bit of game. Probably step on a copperhead up here. Or a cottonmouth king cobra or something or other. Game trail goes right on up through there. Well, she's dark, dark early. Okay, now no light, just the bugs. We're set back up in the night hole, got our night fishing stuff. She's sitting right there somewhere. And you hear her banging around. A little bit of tinge of pink, otherwise she's dark. So she finally decided I could have a sandwich, so I'm eating some dinner. She's baiting her catfish rig. Got the thermostel thermosail. There it is. Yep, fired up, it's gone. Here we go. Let's go catfishing now. 
Oh, she got the glow thing going on. Where'd you get your glow thing? My tackle box? That package I bought the other day? Well, yeah. For us. For us? Okay. <laughs> okay, she caught a fish here. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what she ended up with here. Finally on the board tonight. She's not skunked. She's been skunked all this time. It's 10 o'clock. Uh, You're going to have to plier it so you get a hold of it. Well, where'd they go? Uh, here they are. There you go. Not skunked. There you go, curl it out. Yeah. In as close as you can to where it's, and you just kind of roll it out with the curve. There we go. Yep, yeah, there you okay. are. Yeah, you can throw that overboard there and it don't hook your foot or the cable. So. Ow! Oh, come on. Of course, you got to turn him loose and let him flop around everywhere. That's. Okay. Are you done? <laughs> no, he's not. Fifteen. Jaw grippers. Oh yeah. Um, that's that left hand I can't do much with, baby. All right, there you go. You got it. Uh, let's get some scales fired up. We are zeroed and ready to go. Ooh, I got you. Keep doing like that. Yeah, hang on to him. Pound two ounces. What we'll take it? Huh? What we'll take it? Mine was bigger. Yeah, I know. <laughs> ready? Say goodbye. And gone. I think he was in a hurry.